When I sweep, I tend to sweep on uh, line. I think anything that I see coming middle leg stump line to me, I know that I've pretty much got a free sweep and tend to as well when bowlers obviously more and more coming around the wicket in the short format, um, then I tend to sort of a bit premeditated, but I take on the sweep a lot more as soon as they come around the wicket because it's sort of a bit of a gift and a free shot really. As soon as I see the ball sort of outside sort of my left eye line, I think I, you know that you've, you can access the whole of the leg side then as well. Um, so you've got a bit of a gift of a shot to sort of beat backward square, short fine, sweep straight away there. I think um, obviously there are times where I would say I probably premeditate a sweep a little bit more, but I'd say that tends to be a, a slog sweep when you're looking to go hard and hit the pockets um, at the ground. But as soon as I see anything, um, leg side of me, I know that I've got a bit of a freebie. Best sweepers in the world are the ones that actually use their front leg to manipulate the ball around. The, the more across or the more inside you get, obviously the, the more behind square you're going to hit the ball, the more you open up your front leg, the more in, in front of square you can access and, and hit the pocket. Coming down the track, I think now, especially in the women's game, has become so important because spinners are trying to vary their pace um, a lot and it's the shot that you've just got to commit to. And I think as long as, for me, I'm always trying to hit the sight screen. I try and not get too trapped into pockets, going over extra cover, going over mid wicket in the ring. Actually going at the sight screen helps me sort of hold my front side in a little bit better. And then you've got the levers really to work with whether you want to manipulate it hard down the ground on the floor, or if you want to go over the top and back yourself to beat long on and long off. When you're moving down the track to spin, I think key is, quick footwork, you've got to get out the blocks. We always say it's sort of a big first step. It's easier to adjust your second step than it is your first. So what you don't want to do is probably get too far away from the ball on that first step. So we always think explode out the crease, um, drive that first step towards the line of the ball. I tend to just try where possible to always cover off stump with my first step regardless of the line because I find it a lot easier to, I guess, auto correct on the second step and adjust my body position to, to the line of the ball on the second step. I love playing spin off the bat foot and I think it's something that, I think generally people can get a bit tentative off the bat foot to spin but actually it can still be a really aggressive shot as long as you're looking to, to keep your weight into the ball. I think what tends to happen is because we're moving backwards, what we don't want is our weight to continue going backwards. So I see when you play spin off the bat foot, you're moving back to come back into the ball. So it's almost like two, two different movements. Um, so you, it's really just about using the depth of your crease, but you almost end up in a sort of front foot pull shot position, or I guess you might want to give yourself a bit of room if you want to access the offside. Um, you don't want to be playing with too straight a bat at times. You want to be having sort of that cross bat power to let your hands go through the ball. So you don't want to get too close to it. So I think when you're playing spin off the bat foot, it's more about you know, where does that step go to manipulate where you want to hit the ball? Do you want to give yourself a bit of room so you step back to leg and create the length? You know, you find if a leg spinner's on and they're turning the ball quite a lot, they generally have to flight it a little bit more. So with that flight, it's going to bounce more. So you'd be surprised, even when it's pretty full, you can get off the back foot, um, you can get them away off the back foot quite comfortably. And it's quite low risk. Obviously, running down the track to a leg spinner at times can be high risk. Um, and again, come back to it with the, with the short format of the game taking off, you know, bowlers are bowling quicker and they're bowling flatter. So if you can hold your shape off the bat foot and look to sort of pull and cut into the pockets rather than through, like, I guess rather than to don't go too square. So I would try and pull past mid, straight mid wicket in the ring towards the pocket. And if they lose their line, I'll take it square and naturally. And the same with the cut, I'm looking to hit it hard past extra cover. And then if I do get the width, then I'll take it naturally more towards point area. You want to move back, but you've got to have two feet sort of pinned down. We often describe it a little bit like if you're throwing a punch, a, like a boxing punch, um, you're getting in your hips into that 45 degree sort of angle and that power position, you can explode your back hip into the shot and really hit aggressively off the back foot. 